Hey folks, Puzz here, welcome back to another Pokemon Master video, and today we're going to go over some speculation about the Pokemon Egg system. So, uh, back in their seventh, um, I guess, developer letter, they did talk about Pokemon Eggs. Um, as they write over here, we currently have a number of plans in the pipeline, including introducing Pokemon Eggs, as well as making various improvements to Legendary Events and the Syncret feature. Which, by the way, low-key, not a lot of people have been talking about improvements to the Syncret feature. Please... Please improve the synchro. I mean, the synchro feature at the moment it's fine. It's just that um, more sync orbs, more sync orb drops, please. <laughs> it's way too hard to farm for sync orbs. But yeah, anyways, back to the topic at hand. Um, they did talk about Pokemon eggs, and also their next message, their next producer message is scheduled for mid March, which literally the middle of March is. The 15th. Actually, how many days are in March? How? Let me Google that real quick. Days are in March. Um, all 31. So, uh, well, I guess not literally. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it, it's around 15th, 16th, or around that time. So, uh, that should... I guess it's reasonable to expect it to come either this week or next week, right? The producer's letter. And there are... There, there, there's a possibility that they could talk about the Pokemon eggs, right? So, I guess stay tuned for that, right? Should be summer, you know, sometime soon. And anyways, um, aside from this, our only information about Pokemon eggs actually comes from this six-month anniversary um, trailer uh, for Pokemon Masters, which is <laughs> still one of the most insane things I've ever woken up to um, at six o'clock in the morning. So, in the trailer, it starts with... Um, you know, the egg hatching from Scotty's, in Scotty's possession, hatches into a Charmander. So, a few things we should pay attention to here. Um, number one, the egg did hatch from our main character, Scotty. Does that mean it will be exclusively main character? No, but it, that does mean there's a possibility that the main character could get a Charmander, right? And also, do note that the evolution of Charmander, Charizard, is already in the game with Cygnus Red, so this would be a duplicate if this Charmander ever evolves, right? So, keep that in mind as well. So, uh, we don't actually get much, in, you know, uh, much other, you know, um, details on, on the egg, obviously. And then they just bring the Charmander into a battle with, you know, these guys, which, by the way, Loki, this Charmander just hatched, it just got born, and you're bringing it in to face, like, the three Kanto Legends with, like, their Mega Evolved Pokemon in their Cygna suits. <laughs> I mean, the Charmander looks confident, which, you know, good for you, but, like, that's, that's kind of mean. I, I wouldn't do that to the Charmander. <laughs> Literally just hatched, but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we don't have too much info on this, but, um, th there are a few theories that people are floating around. Um, personally, I just thought of a theory right before I came, uh, or, or, you know, when I decided to do this video, right? And I think there could be a possibility that these are fodder, right? And, and by that I mean, like, because, because Charmander is a, is a Pokemon of a trainer that we've had before, right? Um being you know red red has charizard so i think it could potentially the eggs just be dupe fodders um dupes for for certain trainers but at a lesser cost if that makes sense so maybe after you know after you pull your first copy of red and charizard and then you get chance you could get chances to pull um at a higher rate pokemon eggs that do contain charmander which does take time for you to work on like you have to feed it or whatever or not feed not feed the egg but you know um try to incubate the egg and then hatch it, it takes time but much higher rates to get or you know maybe some free to play way to get eggs potentially and like it's random chance to get whoever's in it right um but yeah you could potentially get an egg and then the egg potentially hatch into one of the 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 you know pokemon that's in the game and then you could use that to train um, their 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 sync uh, move level, right? So it could count as maybe dupes um, in, in a sense, right? Just a way more accessible way, just because, like, when you put these two together, it really does make sense. If you could look back at the producer's letter, they did talk about um, both uh, about Pokemon eggs and uh, improvements to the synchro feature. And one of the issues with the synchro at the moment is 
Um, for a lot of these summonable five stars, they do seem to start, you know, trying to, um, trying to have synchrids, expanded synchrids with, with these new units that are summonable, summonable, <laughs> summonable, which is honestly slightly expensive. Not that like a lot of them matter as much, um, aside from Steven. Um, Stephen's obviously like the only you know must have at the moment for 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 I wouldn't say must have but you know would be really nice to have. Um, well, I guess that's I, I yeah I don't know. you got you guys get my point like it's it's more like Stephen's stoops are more important than Red or Alyssa's or Signus and Alyssa's. Um, but you know in the future who knows a lot of synchrons they might be you know necessary to to get dupes right um, for for their uh, uh, expanded synchrons right. And it could be it could be a way for them to make the Syncrid um, not as bad, just to make dupes from Pokemon eggs that you could feed into already existing units. Um, so you could level up their dupe without spending as much, right? Because that is apparently a problem. Some people are not too happy with it, <laughs> right? Um, as as I've seen in comments and stuff. So that could be a good way to make the um, the Syncrid expansion not as it, expensive for folks especially free to play players right who really don't have much to spend on banners anyways and then you're like asking them to get like more than one copy it's 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 tough it's tough right so i guess that would be a a, a possibility um another possibility would be uh one that i discussed uh before which would be you could give characters different pokemon right so maybe like um in this case right you give your main character a charmander which could evolve into a charizard you get a second charizard maybe it's charizard y or whatever right or gigantamax charizard or or regular charizard <laughs> that doesn't mega or gigantamax or whatever right uh, maybe you could give by the way look at dawn dawn's so happy um <laughs> but yeah maybe you could give uh, different characters different pokemon like um for example you give clay um, uh, Excadrill, right? <laughs> a lot of people want Clay to have Excadrill without without giving like Clay a separate Signature suit because it does seem like, um, so far for most of the Signature suit Pokemon, it's not like they're you know the the Signature suit partner Pokemon. It doesn't seem like it is their like oh secondary option or like their actual Ace or something like because look, um, uh, well aside from I guess red, blue, and green, right? But generally, you know, Rosanta getting Delibird, um, Alyssa getting Rotom, um, right, right? Uh, these folks, uh, Brock getting Tyrantar, these are kind of, like, far-fetched Pokemon. Like, sure, they might have had them at some point, but it's not, like, their signature, you know, ace Pokemon or whatever. Um, so they could be using this a as a opportunity to give... Um, different sync pairs different pokemon without creating like a whole new signature suit for them and like signature suits would be reserved for like special um either special costumes that fit with other um pokemon that aren't as close to to the the character right so stuff like you know you give um again um uh maybe oh maybe maybe we could give like dawn for those who do want Piplup and, and Dawn together, we could uh, give Dawn a Piplup egg, and then, you know, that could hatch an Empoleon for Dawn, for those who really want that, right? Or, you know, for folks who don't like Clefairy with Lily, <laughs> maybe the Cosmoc don't have eggs, but, you know, whatever else. Alolan Vulpix, apparently people want Lily with uh, Alolan Vulpix. Or, uh, you know, just, just different options for, for, for different Pokemon, right? Giovanni, give Giovanni Rhydon, you know, an egg to, to get Rhydon. Or Zinnia, Wismer, or, or Mega Salamence or whatever, right? Um, just to give different trainers different options uh, of Pokemon without, you know, completely giving them, like, a new suit and suit or whatever. Because those are, you know, these are... Uh, on a development standpoint, I would assume, and again, I'm not a developer, but I would assume it would be much easier just to develop, like, a separate Pokemon for, like, the same trainer model than, like, completely, you know, create, a, like, a new model or whatever, and, you know, they could release them uh, more frequently or whatever, which would be cool, I guess, and uh, hopefully would be much, um, you know, would have higher rates than your regular banners or whatever, however, you know, you obtain them. Um, I guess another option which uh, uh people were talking about uh would be well 
I mean, like one more point. Like back on 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 the uh, the 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 different um or uh, the, the the different um uh, uh, character thing, or actually no, um like uh, I I saw another point while I was doing yesterday's Riley video. I guess it's like related, but right. Um, but when I was doing Riley's video, Riley was known for giving the protagonist. Well, at least one of the things that Riley was known for um, was to give the protagonist an egg that hatches into a Riolu, right? So maybe some people are talking about, oh, maybe it's, you know, they could introduce eggs with Riley. Riley comes along and, you know, gets a Riolu egg, except doesn't really give it to us and just uses it for himself and uses Riolu, right? Um, so, it, or, or, it, or it could just, you know, it just be like a different way of introducing sync pairs. So, like, you don't immediately, you know, when a sync pair comes out, you don't immediately just give them, like, a Pokemon. You give them, like, an egg first, and then, like, you hatch them just for fun. I, 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 I here's the thing. Here's the thing with that theory. theory. I just don't see the point. Um, why would you just make, you know, just a regular sync pair with, like, no differences or whatever, but just, like, much harder to get their Pokemon with? I, I, I don't see the point there. <laughs> That's why I'm not too on board with that theory, other than, like, for story or lore reasons, I guess. So, uh, anyways, um, that's my few theories on what potentially the um, Pokemon eggs could mean for this game. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about all this. Um, and uh, also, um, on another note, I will be streaming more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, DX today, more post-game stuff. We try to recruit some legendaries. That would be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Again, that's me for this one. Like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for some more Poem Masters content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.